So we're really pleased to see the Journalism Skills Academy um, expand and develop during 2022 to 2023. Um, our mission is to support journalists throughout their careers and actually uh, maintain, and look at how we can maintain quality standards across the industry. Um, we've invested a lot of time in developing a leadership programme and what we did there is we actually went out to industry and said, do your editorial managers need leadership training? The overwhelming feedback was yes. And so during the last year, we've been putting together various different programmes so that we can, so that editorial managers have access to that. And what we see as um, the big part of the leadership training is that we're aiming it squarely at journalists. And actually all of the content that we've created and the programmes that we've created have been created by journalists who have been editorial managers themselves. So we've really been pleased to see that get off the ground. And in terms of the impact of that, then we hope that editorial managers are supported as they have to manage the difficult day-to-day -day and also the complexities of leading people. And we also hope that that will keep, um, that will identify our future leaders. Um, it will help develop them. So, you know, and that in itself has an impact on the long-term sustainability of journalism. Um, outside of leadership, we have developed um, a more extensive training offering, which is accessible to all. Um, one of the key developments was the launch of a lunch and learn uh, training schedule, which is essentially, as it suggests, uh, a training session across lunchtime. And anybody, whether you're a freelancer, whether you're a working journalist, whether you're a student journalist, um, anyone can attend and just learn in a very short um, short space of time. And again, this was following industry feedback that people just don't have the time sometimes to invest in training. And also because it is a shorter course, it's held virtually, it's actually more affordable for people. So we've been really pleased to see that get off the ground. Um, we've really looked at you know the different topics that we cover. So um, we still do a lot on our traditional core subjects such as media law, editing skills, interviewing, you know all of those essential skills that are important. But we've also diversified our content and introduced um, uh, sessions like introduction to TikTok, for example, that kind of exploded in the last year or so. So we've kind of produced a lunch and learn to. Um, to um, reflect that. We've done more about video, um, short form and long form video, which has been great. And with the leadership training as well, we offer that in um, lunch and learn formats. The lunch and learn formats go alongside our already established masterclasses, which are a bit longer, but still virtual. And again, still accessible and affordable to anybody in the industry. The other final piece of all of this is um, our Journalism Skills Academy platform, some new courses around reporting on elections on climate change this year and in the next few weeks we're hoping to well we will be launching an AI project as well so we're really pleased to see those come to life and for them to um, you know to be used by the industry we still are offering our distance learning products um, via our Journalism Skills Academy e-learning platform and this um, allows people to gain the NCTJ qualification um, but they can study it in their own time at their own pace through our interactive e-learning platform, um, which remains really popular. And we were really pleased to develop an international journalism distance learning project this year as well, which has just um, which has just gone live. So we're really pleased with that. So looking ahead to next year, we just want to continue um, developing and growing, and most importantly, responding to industry need, because we do believe that training and development is essential to the long-term success of um, organisations and also um, for the industry as a whole.